What's up class, Evans here. We've got a pretty simple part to make. If you've noticed, we even watched a video last week about making this exact part. Um, so what's most different about today is I'm gonna do a different way of you turning it in. We're gonna try it out, the share button, and see how it works. Now I've connected you to my class um, and organized it by groups. Um, and we'll see how that all works, but I've connected it to the email you sent me. Now, some of you haven't sent me your email, and I should be letting you know that in Zoom uh, right now. So if you haven't connected your email to me in terms of like you let me know what email you used for Onshape, then you need to go to last Tuesday's assignment, which was the first day that we came back from break. And in the comment to that assignment, just tell me what email you used. Um, you should see a comment from me saying, hey, I need your email for um, this assignment. So if you've already, most of you have done that. So if not, let's move forward. So I want you to make this L-shaped part. Um, if you were to use only the subtractive method, then you would, you know, have to make about four different moves. You'd make one big block, then cut it out to make the L-shape, and then cut in those two grooves. I would recommend that we use more additive and start with an L shape and then cut in the two grooves. Uh, to do that, we need to kind of look at the dimensions that are before us. Uh, the L shape would need to be, you know, three and a half uh, wide and then two fifty tall and then one inch thick. And I'm getting that from this unit here uh, and also here, one inch thick. So it's a one inch L shape. So you would get that, and then you would come back and you would make the two grooves. Um, uh, the dimensions for that, this groove right here, you could do it in two methods. Um, you could click on the front surface and extrude a rectangle back uh, all through all, and, or you could click on the top and extrude a rectangle down a distance of half an inch. It's up to you which direction you want to take. One thing to keep in mind is the dimensions. You would need both the size dimensions of the rectangle and the location. Keep in mind, it is half an inch off of this side, or you could put a dimension half an inch off of this side. So make sure that you have that correct. And when you do extrude out this L shape, not to forget, we have the width, which is 350, height, which is 250, uh, thickness of the whole L is one inch, but then you would extrude it out and you would add these three together to get the full distance across, which would be, of course, 250. Last, you would uh, cut out this groove in the front. You could click on the top and do a through all cut down, or you could uh, click on the front and extrude it back one and a half inch. One thing to keep in mind, again, of course, is for both of these, when you do click these rectangles, they are connected to the edges. So when you click the rectangle, make sure that it's highlighting the edge so it snaps the edge and uh, it's not just like slightly off the edge. Uh, if that's the case, then I will mention a tool that you could use to fix that. So um, when you do cut it through, keep in mind that it is one inch over from the edge. That's a location dimension. And you wanna make sure that it goes through that. So let's look at the part. Um, so this is a part, the name of it is 4.1B, the classic, why the classic? because I have used this part in multiple examples uh, with you guys. It, it, it's shown up, I've probably shown this exact same part um, in like three or four times. So it, it's quite the class. Um, so let me open it up. I have this on my Onshape student account and I extruded it out here, and then um, I came in and I hid the features that I did, but I, uh, um, let me unsuppress them, and then I added these two features here. But I'm not gonna show you how to do them because I know that you can do them without me. One thing that I do wanna point out is, um, let me see if I can suppress that. When you're drawing it, so, um, I actually extruded it from the front, but if you were to extrude it anyway, when you are adding your rectangles, make sure that it's connected to with that line. If it's not, let's say that you totally missed the mark on that. Um, there is a tool, 
and I'll show it to you right now once I see it show up on my screen called coincident here and I can put points like I could click on this point and uh, attach it to this corner which I don't want or I could click a line and say I want this line and this line to be coincident which means it puts them in the same place um, so that's a tool just in case if it's not quite on the line that is a tool that you can use to help you out and then you would want to put of course the correct dimensions I'm not going to use this sketch um, at all so after you have um, everything completed, I want you to share it with me. Uh, I've already shared it earlier, but um, let me delete that. Uh, so when you click here, because I've connected you on the team, you can see everyone else. I want you to send it to me, of course. You don't need to send it to everyone. Uh, don't need a copy. You're just going to... Uh, export it to me or share I'm not sure which one we need I'm, I'm gonna say click both now until we figure out the difference um, you can put edit so that I can double check things and then uh, maybe um, I could even show you how to correct things if there were some problems in future more complicated parts um, and then just click share now that's gonna send it over to me as the teacher and I've got uh, my team's here. I've only done first period, part of first period, but I'll have the rest of the periods up and running. Um, and then I have shared with me, ones that have been shared with me. And uh, here's the part for me to check so I can dig through and see what you did. It doesn't matter how many extrudes you do. Um, if you did four or five extrudes, I get to see all that you did and just kind of check the shape is correct. Most of this assignment is... Uh, just sharing it with me as I know that all of you guys can accomplish making this no problem um, So this is a tool that we'll probably use for future parts and uh, Submit in this way instead uh, depending so uh, I'll probably still have you do some screenshots for other parts just because that might be simpler um, And now the last thing I want you to do uh, after you share it with me uh, Let me go over to this Come over here, hit copy, and then in um, your assignment here, under submit, just paste it as a text, um, just as a backup link, because I'm still learning the program, so just put it there as a backup link, so it tells me that you submitted it to me, so just to kind of make sure everything's connected. So those are your two ways to turn it in, copy and paste um, the URL link here. You can hit Control C for copy, come over to uh, here, and then Control V for paste. And that just tells me that you submitted it. If you have any problems with that, of course, just send the text saying, I shared it with you on, on Shape, and then I can get the file there. So I hope this works out well. We're trying a new feature out, um, and uh, we'll see how it goes from here. If you have any questions, ask it in the Zoom. Um, my last class ends at 4.15, so if you do need some help, you can kind of jump onto my Zoom um, around 4.15, and I'll still have it open, and uh, 4.15 to probably, you know, 15, 30 minutes, I'll leave it open to see if anybody shows up, um, and uh, I can help answer your questions if you have any. So, but ask in the Zoom, send me a message, come after school. Either way, if you're stuck on Onshape, don't stay stuck. If you're confused, don't stay that way. Ask questions so that I can help you. And uh, I look forward to seeing your turned-in assignments. Bye.